regulates menstruation and reduces the male sex hormones. Get the help you need for PCOS with Salome. Your journey matters. Conversations are just another pathway to learn and with the deep dive we've been taking into the world of women's health, we are learning a ton. And to broaden our understanding even more is obstetrician and gynecologist Dr. Lusanda Shimange Motsotse to discuss PCOS or PCOS as some people call it. Doctor, welcome back to Expresso. Thank you so much for having me. Many of us may have heard about it, but engaging with it is how we learn, Doctor. What exactly is PCOS? PCOS, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, is an endocrine disorder that is common in women of reproductive age. So those are the women who have potential to fall pregnant, right? And um, it has different features in that you have irregular menstrual periods, you have abnormal hair growth in a male distribution pattern. And there's all the other, other things that um, we can find through examination and investigation. But for me, what's also really important is the sequelae of polycystic ovarian syndrome, such as high cholesterol, diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiac problems, which is not often spoken about a lot. I feel like I'm meeting more and more people that have PCOS and you've mentioned some of the symptoms, but what exactly are some of the common symptoms and how are women's daily lives affected by these symptoms? You know, it's very interesting that you say that. And I think just the awareness around it is just getting bigger and bigger. I mean, and here we are talking about it. So, and I think it's really a great thing. And so um, really the common things is patients who have um, amenorrhea, so basically periods where they don't actually get their menstruation. So instead of having 12 um, menstrual cycles in a year, they'll have maybe have nine or less, or sometimes nothing at all. So um, that is a very common one. The other one that patients really um, also complain about is just this weight gain that they cannot lose and they just cannot explain. We often get patients who say, no, but I eat healthy, I exercise, but nothing is happening. And then obviously when, once you start taking history, examining the patient, you can arrive at a diagnosis um, of um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. You know what, doctor, we often hear about the two being spoken about conjointly, that is infertility and the diagnosis of PCOS. Is there a link between them? 100%, there's definitely um, a link. And basically what happens with polycystic ovarian syndrome is that you get these little follicles that just stay as little follicles. They never really grow to be bigger follicles. So what happens in a normal menstrual cycle is that there will always be that big egg, if I can put it that way, the one that will get fertilized and eventually become an embryo and a baby. With polycystic ovarian syndrome, this does not happen. So as much as the patients will bleed, or the women will bleed ever so often, um, they have what we call anovulatory cycles. And um, if you have anovulatory cycles, it means you're not ovulating. So you're not getting that big egg that we're talking about. It's only, this remains being those small eggs. And those are the ones that can't really be fertilized. And that's why women with polycystic ovarian syndrome may have difficulty in falling pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I just need to mention, it's not to say that they can't fall pregnant, they may have difficulty falling pregnant. Well, Dr. Lusanda, thank you so much for joining us and shedding some light on this very important topic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Understanding that all women have different experiences is the very reason for conversations like these. Not only are we learning about our own bodies and experiences, but we are also learning to understand our fellow sisters. With Salome, your journey matters. Cysts in the ovaries, irregular or missing periods, and high male sex hormones are symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome. If you experience two of these three, you may have it. It's also the leading cause of infertility in women. Salome Fertility helps regulate ovarian function and helps improve fertility. Salome Polycast helps regulate menstruation and reduces the male sex hormones. Get the help you need for PCOS with Salome. Your journey matters.